Hey there guys, it's your favorite backyard geographer. Today, we're at Royal Borough Beach, which is nestled in between UC Santa Barbara and Santa Barbara City College here in Santa Barbara, California. We're here for a couple reasons. One is to learn a little bit more about the coastal geomorphology of the area and really what we are standing upon, which is a marine terrace, as well as some of the coastal features that we can identify along the beachfront here. So let's go. So our story begins here with coastal erosion. So you'll notice down behind me we have our beautiful beach face. And you can't have a beach without waves. So these waves again are derived, the energy is derived way out in the Pacific Ocean caused by storms. That wind is blowing, it's adding that friction to the water which then creates our waves. Now notice that as they come in, they come in at an angle and they leave at an angle. But within that process, we have coastal erosion because as those waves come in and out, they're able to move a net sediment grain uh, balance down the beach. So what I want to kind of point out here as well is that we have what's considered bicoastal beaches, meaning that they change throughout the course of the year. We find that during the winter we have more aggressive or stronger storms and those then create bigger waves which cause more aggressive erosion. It actually works out for us. We're here in December and as you can see behind me, as that sand material is being removed from the beach, we can see that underlying geology that's being exposed. So that's really kind of you know, exciting for us because we can see this actual erosion occurring in real time. You can even see, it's kind of like a haircut, how that rock material is being removed. And that's what happens during our winter or larger storms. So as that material is moved during our winter storms, it's stored in offshore bars. But during the summer, when we have much smaller waves and smaller energy forcing that sand back onto the beach, then creating more of a beach face that we're familiar with today. So just as that erosion is exposing this beautiful flat beach face down here, that's exactly what I'm standing on here. So this mesa surface was actually uplifted about 100,000 years ago, which means that this, what I'm standing on, used to be the beach. And we can see that not just here, but we can see that how this used to you know, continue all the way across. We can see another one even going further this way and a smaller one way at the top. So what we have here are these, exp these exposed beach faces that have been uplifted over thousands and thousands of years. So much like me walking, these are steps, otherwise we call marine terraces, because they're steps showing that geologic past. Now, the reason they exist, again, is because we live on a dynamic place, right? So we have these episodic earthquakes and pressures that happen that uplift at tremendous rates. That uplift is what creates an emergent coastline. So now that we're down here on the beach, it's a lot easier for us to observe this coastal erosion. So we can see along the foothills that as there's this undermining of material being moved out by our larger storm waves, it's gonna cause erosion in the sea cliffs to collapse. So in doing so, the actual you know, beach cliff itself is retreating. So where I'm standing now, there used to be a beach cliff here. So similar to a deck of cards and how you stack them, the one on the bottom, the layer on the bottom is the oldest, what's on top is most recent we can see that stratigraphy in this rock here, but it looks tilted and that's because of faulting. So not only was this area you know, completely removed in material by erosion, it was also faulted and then kind of then shaved on top for a clean cut. So we get this really interesting and great experience of exposed underlying geology. So in summary, we've got tectonic uplift, we've got coastal erosion, we have an excellent example of an emergent coastline here again in Santa Barbara. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and we'll talk soon. Hey there guys, it's your favorite backyard geographer. We're here just above Arroyo Borough Beach, nestled in between, uh, oh see, I forgot, UC Santa Barbara and Santa Barbara City College. Here in Santa Barbara, uh, no I don't like that either. Sorry, one more time. Hey there guys, it's your favorite backyard geographer. Today we're at, oh, see I forgot where we were, Arroyo Borough. I say Westboro, but it's the 